You guys got to check out this new Milwaukee utility spotlight. I finally got it mounted on the hood of my truck, but I got to show you this. All right, so we're in my basement now and I'm actually supposed to be putting this treadmill together. But before we do that, this guy has been sitting in my garage for almost a month now. I haven't even opened the box yet. It's Milwaukee's new M18 remote control searchlight. What better time than to unbox this right now for the first time with the viewers. Many of you guys know now, a lot of the Milwaukee products you can buy without the batteries, without the accessories. It can really save you a lot of money if you already have all that stuff. This particular box is model 2123-21HD. So it comes with a battery, charger, pretty well everything I need. And a carry bag apparently. All right. This must be the mount that goes on the hood. That's a permanent mount that bolts onto the hood of your truck. And then the light is then removable from that mount. All right, so next, let's get this bag out of here. We've got our wireless remote, and we've got our rapid charge, good for the 18 and 12 volt batteries. Oh, nice. I think this is the first time that Milwaukee released this 12.0 amp hour battery. Normally, the tools come with the five amp hour, two amp hour batteries. I even have an eight. This is the first time I've seen it 12, pretty cool. And last but not least, our spotlight. So I do see here on the back, it does say one key. So it has the Bluetooth one key feature. This thing's pretty, pretty rugged. That's pretty rugged. All right, so there it is. Couple clips on the side. Pretty well any of these batteries will fit. You can see there's a bit of extra space in there where the 12 amp hour is bigger, as long as it is the 18 volt battery. All right, let's see what we got. All right, mode, I'm not sure what mode, there we go. Spot, blood, so it's got three different modes. I don't wanna force that. Let's see if this thing will work. I'm assuming there's Got to be a battery in this somewhere. Okay, so there is already batteries inside. You see there's a lock button on the side. Let's try that. There we go. That was it. There we go. Now, let's take a quick look at this base. Pretty straightforward to bolt that to the truck. This space here. A couple bolts on the hood and just your two wires to hook up. There's a fuse bolt into the wiring there. Pretty straightforward stuff. You see there's an Allen key included with it. Well, no. There we go. All right, well that's easy enough. So that's the portable base. I suppose you keep in a till in your truck. Meanwhile, this guy here slides in. So that fits in there pretty snug. It's pretty low profile now that that base is off. We'll snug that up just a hair. And that's it. She's ready to be installed on the hood of the truck. It's got a little directional arrow. Make sure you point that to the front that way. You don't have the stopping point on the front end where you're using the light. So one last thing I didn't mention, there is a magnetic base on this fella. I'm not sure how strong the magnet is, but I think what we'll do, maybe one of the best ways to test this guy out, we're going to take it out in the field. We're going to mount it onto the portable mount. We're going to use the magnetic base to, that is pretty strong. Uh, 
we're going to attach it to the truck while I still have my old light running. And we'll run them side by side while we're out troubleshooting. And then we can really see what kind of a difference we have between the brightness of the two beams. Alright guys, so here's the deal. It's 1.30 a.m. right now. I wasn't really planning on recording anything tonight, but we're in the basement now. I'm going to grab the new, new spotlight there. I'm not going to have it mounted on the hood, but uh, we'll see how good that magnet is. Maybe it'll sit up on the roof of the boom or something. Once we get close, I'm not going to drive with it there, obviously. But it's minus 25 outside right now, so... Really, would rather have just stayed in bed. We've got our Milwaukee symbol facing the front. The stopper is at the back. And uh, the magnet on that thing is pretty rugged, so I don't think we have to worry about losing it. One thing I did want to point out with my old light. See that? not right there it constantly jams up my light and I gotta jump out of the truck and kind of manipulate it by hand it used to sit a little bit higher but something something must have hit that and bent it a little bit all right let's get in the truck it's freezing out here all right so we've got our remote control for the old light and we've got our new one see how this stuff works here. Let's turn this guy on. Alright, boom, we're on. So we're lighting up the three phase. Let's swing it around and take a look at that pole. Oh, see it's jammed up already on that nut there. So that's as low as I can go with it. Now, that one lit up. And let's turn this guy on. Oh wow. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, uh so the review's done guys. That's that's a no-brainer. Holy. I'm lighting up poles four span away with this thing. This is this is too cool. Wow. That's amazing. Okay, so we're at the job site now. It's only showing a few customers, but first thing I'm gonna do on the way in is take a look at that sideline, the cutout feeding the sideline. It's two, 10 after 2 a.m. right now. spotlight and this is the Milwaukee light that's absolutely incredible we just rolled up to a transformer it looks like well, the cutouts open for sure but it actually looks like the door completely burned off let's have a closer look the door get these gloves on because uh, it's fiberglass nasty stuff when it gets all over your hands but that's uh, that's all that's left of the door it's absolutely disintegrated this is our new one here
well, I gotta say for not only first impressions, but first use of this thing, it's, uh, <laughs> it was way better than, than I expected. That spotlight is wild. A couple things I wanted to mention. I don't know if you guys noticed my other light. It's on a cord here. And uh, it does have the wireless capabilities, but when it's when you're using the wireless function, it's super finicky. So I pretty much always leave that plugged in. This this guy here, right out of the box, it becomes it it shows up paired to the light. So open it up, turn it on, you're ready to go. There's zero setup. Another test I wanted to do for those of you that have been watching my channel for a while, you know that my handheld spotlight works pretty good. So I did want to do a little side-by-side -side comparison with my handheld and the Milwaukee Spotlight. So even compared to my handheld Spotlight, this thing is quite a bit brighter. See the light off in the distance on the tree. That one on the left is our Milwaukee and the one on the right is my handheld. The other thing I want to check is for the snow. I'd like to get that light mounted before the snow hits and the difference with this particular style, it's got the hood up over the light. A couple of the guys were worried that maybe the snow would pack in there, maybe it would freeze up. We did try it just in the cold, but if we can get it mounted to the truck, let it sit all night, really, really freeze things up. We'll see how the gears and the light mechanism handle up, if any ice or snow gets jammed in there. If it does, how easy it is to clean. I'm not sure if any heat emanates off the bulbs at all. That's one of the issues pretty much LED lights have encountered in, in many applications like traffic lights. They, they don't emit enough heat so the snow builds up on the light, which probably isn't a huge problem for a lot of the viewers down closer to the equator. But uh, here there's half the year there's a lot of snow a lot of ice so we certainly take that into account when working with new products does it warm, get warm at all no well maybe, nah, maybe just enough for no snow in it because i didn't wipe any of the snow off and all the snow is melted yeah. all right so it doesn't get much snowier than this uh, let's see if we can that little hole, little gap in the windshield, you can see my spotlight. It's all covered in snow and ice. So, before I even attempt to clean it off, I want to see if it froze up at all. And, you know, working just perfect. see here where the ice got right in underneath the seam now it, it is watertight inside that come on camera there we go but the ice jammed up under there a little bit so it's still still working but you can see it has slowed down quite a bit this part here no issues jammed up the snow a little bit underneath there which this sort of thing before using it, you're going to clean it off. You're not going to, you're not going to want to force it. The design compared to my older light does seem to grab a hold of the, the the snow and ice a little bit more. It seems to be affected a little bit more than the older design. The design compared to the older style here, it's much sleeker, a much nicer design. However, not quite as practical for the cold weather. Now, regardless of what you're using, when you get into minus 35 ice storms, freezing rain, snow, it's gonna jam up your equipment. This design does work a little bit better as far as getting covered up in snow. There's much more open spaces. You're not getting the snow and ice running down into that seam and freezing up. Not a huge problem. There was only one day in particular where it froze up quite a bit. And to be honest, this guy here, he freezes up as well. The, the light itself, the LED lights themselves, no question, way brighter than the old light. In fact, it's brighter than any other light flashlight I've used. As far as the spotlight, the distance, the 
thing is absolutely incredible. It also does have the flood mode, which is great for when you're working on underground equipment, pad mount, lighting up a large area that's 30 feet away or so. The LEDs are lifetime warranty as well. That doesn't count if you smash it with a baseball bat, obviously. But as far as lights burning out, lifetime warranty. Next, I wanted to mention the wireless remote. This thing does work flawlessly. At no point did I hit the power button and the light not turn on. Works right away, first try, every time. My older light, sometimes it get quite finicky. I'd have to hit that, could be a dozen times before it came on. Sometimes it wouldn't pair with the light. Sometimes it would turn on the light on the next truck up from me. So as far as the wireless capabilities, this thing comes prepared right out of the box. It's so far worked absolutely flawlessly. And as far as distance right now, it is working. I'm about 100 meters away right now. You guys probably can't see that, but working great. So it's got a good range. It even has this home button where you can aim it at the top of the pole, lock it into the home position. If you're shining it around, patrolling the lines, whatever, you hit that home button, it'll go back to the set position. This guy comes with the, the portable base, which is magnetic. We tried that out first. The magnet was awesome, worked great. I had it on the roof of my truck. Now, the only thing, I'm not sure how often I would actually use that function. Uh, most times, if I had to get out of the truck and patrol manually, I'd, I'd just grab my portable flashlight. However, if you did a lot of backlop jobs, you had a contract to do a big job where it was all off-road, I could see it being used in that application. If you just wanted it for a hood light for your truck, you can buy it separately without the base. It does come with that 12 amp hour battery, which can be pretty expensive. So a great feature if it's something that works with you. If not, you definitely have the option to buy it separately. It's also much faster than my old light. That's pretty much it guys. So overall, I'm extremely happy with my new Milwaukee Spotlight. It's, it's definitely bright enough. It makes patrolling at night so much easier, especially the lines that are half buried in trees. You can see every little twig up there between the three phase. Even on those 50, 60 foot poles, well, you see when I lit up the top of that tower, that was like 200 feet up. I'll be sure to put some links down in the comments section. I'll see if I can't find a link to purchase the product both with and without the portable magnet 12 amp hour. That 12 amp hour battery is crazy. That thing lasts for hours. So we're gonna pack her up for the day. As usual, don't forget to drop me a fist bump. Let me know where you're watching from and we'll see you next time.